Hey guys, and welcome to Southern Food Junkie. On today's episode, we're gonna be cooking up some greens for you. We actually have some turnip greens and some collard greens, and we're gonna throw some turnips in there with it. I'm gonna show you how I cook these. You can use this with any type of greens. Uh, traditionally, I use this just with collard greens, but I had a good amount of turnips out there in my patch, so I wanted to uh, use some of them with it. So we'll get to it, and we'll see you in just a second. guys the first thing you're gonna need is your greens these are our turnip greens I actually got to wash the collard greens they're over there in the sink you're gonna need one large onion one bell pepper of course you're gonna need your turnips if you want turnips in there we have a few uh, larger ones and some few uh, uh, smaller ones really all you need is about three of them we're gonna use some bacon I'm gonna use a half of this pack a little bit of brown sugar apple cider vinegar and some chicken broth. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is tear these off from the stem. This is the way I do it. I grab the stem and I just pull it like that. And I separate, and if I got a smaller one, I just peel them off like this. If got a bigger one, you just take it and just do it just like that. I call it skinning the cattail, just like that. Just like that right there. These are my collards. On the uh, mustard greens, you can leave those. You can leave those in there. So now we got these off. We're gonna take these stems and put these on our compost. I'm gonna go ahead and do these. You need a fair amount of greens because they will they will cook down on you. Once we get these off the stem, we will take them and uh, chop them up a little bit. Like I said, you can leave these stems in there, but they're kind of uh, tough and most people don't leave them on there. I do want I am going to add some a little bit of red pepper flakes in there. I didn't mention that in my ingredients. All right, and then we're going we're gonna to rinse them again. I've already rinsed them a couple times, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. All right, now we're going to rinse them again. I'm basically just fill my sink up. If you got any bad ones in here, these have gotten a little bit of frost on them. Turn them a little bit yellow. Take some of those out. Yeah, at this point, we're washing them. You can come in here and just shred them up more if you want to. Or you can chop them. This is mostly how I do them. I just take these big bunch and I just pull them apart like that. Chop them up in smaller pieces. So much quicker than chopping them. But you can take them and chop them. Just roll them up like this and take your knife and chop them. I'm basically trying to get any bugs, dirt, sand off of them. If you buy a store bought, at this point you'd be getting any kind of chemicals off of them. Then I just take them to one side and I just kind of crack the sink. Be nice if I had like a little strainer in here. All right, so once you get done with that, you can leave these in here until a little while later. We're gonna move on to the next part. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is prepare our turnips. These have already been washed. I'm gonna slice all the tops off here and uh, we'll peel these. All right. Now we're just gonna peel them. All right, now that we got them peeled up, we'll just cut these 
in half like this. Then we're gonna set them in our little chopper here. This will give us nice little uniform chunks. All right, we're down, done with our turnips. Here you can see our little dices. We're setting these to the side for once we get our stock put together. Next thing we're gonna do is take our bell pepper and uh, we're gonna uh, slice it up. And we have the whole seeds, the top and the bottom. We'll put them in our com compost. We got a couple of little pieces that we that we gotta get. Where it was. I think they call this the pit. Just lay that all. Turn them around and cut them in on end. Make little little pieces. All right, we're gonna set this to the side. We're gonna work on our onion. The top and bottom off of it. We score it. And we can peel it. I'm using my garlic press to uh, press out a few cloves of garlic so basically I'm just squeezing it like this you can see it kind of comes out the bottom there then all you're you're left with is the skin there all right we're gonna chop our onion up you can do this any way you want to. You don't, don't have to be no set set way to do it. Let's set this to the side. Let's grab another cutting mat. Using my garlic press to uh, press out a few cloves of garlic. So basically, I'm just squeezing it like this. You can see it kind of comes out the bottom there. Then all you're, you're left with is the skin there. All right, so I got my bacon here. It's been in the freezer. I'm basically gonna take this, half of this. This other half I'll set to the side. I'm not gonna use it. We'll use it for breakfast or something else. So we're going to, basically we're just trying to get it in little cubes best we can. All right, guys, we moved over here to our burner. We got it turned up on high here on our pot. We're going to splash a little olive oil in there. Basically what we're going to do is uh, render out our um, fat of our bacon try to get it crispy as we can. And uh, we put the oil in there just to kind of help help with it sticking until the the uh, the bacon starts rendering its fat. All right. Love these little mats. Continue to let this cook a little bit. Been in here about three minutes now. You don't have to worry about anything sticking to the pan because once you, uh, once we put in our vegetable, uh, our chicken broth, it'll it'll deglaze the pan and all these little bits will come off. I want these, I want these things to get kind of crunchy and, and hard and get all that fat out of there we can. 
So basically what we're gonna do next is, is throw in our uh, bell peppers, onions, and garlic. Let those saute down a little bit. And then we're gonna add in uh, uh, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of um, brown sugar, a uh, little bit of salt. I wouldn't use a whole lot of salt because you already got bacon, you already got chicken broth in here. I would kind of use that to your taste. Normally I add about a tablespoon in here of uh, sea salt. And then we're gonna add some uh, red pepper flakes. And I just put a dash in there. You don't want much in there. It just gives it just a little bit of heat, but it, it's good, I'm telling you. A little bit of heat is good on there. This is not how I grew up eating them. This is a recipe that I've developed over the years of uh, just trying different things. Uh, so take it for what it's worth. I like them this way. All right, let's add in our onions, bell pepper, and garlic. Wet these onions down. Some people may do this different too. I like to add my liquid into the pot and then put my greens into the liquid. I like to get the liquid hot first. That causes the greens to wither down quickly. All right, let's add in our chicken stock. Still got, still got it on high heat. We're using one box, 32 ounces of chicken stock. couple dashes of our pepper flakes. Alright guys, it's been roughly an hour since we put our greens on. You can see they're starting to cook down really, really nice. These are for Thanksgiving tomorrow. So uh, about another hour or so, these will probably be pretty good. They're getting really nice and tender dark in color see that that's what we want all right guys let's give these greens a try here still really hot mm. Really good. You got a real nice savory flavor to them. You can taste just a little bit of the heat from that red pepper flakes. You got the bacon smoky flavor in there. And uh, let's get one of these turnips. Mmm, tender. Almost reminds you of a, a potato, really. Um, guys, if you, if you try greens other ways and you don't, if you try greens other ways and you don't like them, give this way a try. You may like it. Um, it's not, the flavors are not too overpowering and it, and it really highlights the, uh, the flavors of the, of the greens, uh, in this dish. It makes them tender. Um, the, um, the little bit of stems that's in there, they, they boil down really tender. And I really like it like this. I'm telling you, it's, it's worth a try. Some people, some people in the South have greens that are sweet and some people have them savory. I don't prefer them sweet. I prefer them savory. I know my in-laws, they, they make them uh, sweet 
and that's the way they prefer them. I do put a little bit of brown sugar in here, but when I mean in sweet, they may put more like a cup in theirs. It's a, it's a lot sweeter taste. A lot of people will take these and add a little bit more vinegar on top, white vinegar. Um, I do put a little bit of vinegar in mine, as you've seen, apple cider vinegar when they're cooking. And um, it all this it helps take away a lot of the bitterness of the greens and cooking them down like this, stewing them all day long. Makes your house smell wonderful. So uh, give this a try. And uh, like, like we always say, let's get food junk. We'll see you next time, guys. All right, guys, if you like videos like this, try clicking on one of these videos right here. I'm sure you'll like it too. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel. That way when we release new videos, you will be notified. You can click the little bell notification and it'll send you a notification on your phone or your computer that we got a new video out. Thank you.